Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Beta FPV Beta 85 XHD Micro Brushless HD Whoop. This version is almost identical to the previous one which I reviewed and also really liked except that this time you don't have to worry about the quadcopter catching on fire when you are going to plug a forest type of battery since now it's equipped with the latest version of the flight controller and ESC combo by Beta FPV and also they added a 220 microfarad 25 volts capacitor to the battery XT30 connector. I tested this quadcopter using GMB 3S and 4S 520 mAh LHV batteries and I can tell you that on both it performed great. Of course, it was much faster on 4S, but you should note that the Jello is also going to be more noticeable and you should consider tuning the quadcopter if you're going to fly mostly on 4S or you can also use an ND filter, which is not going to fit inside the canopy and you will need to cut the plastic parts on the sides in order to make it fit. The weight of the quadcopter without the battery is 83.3 grams. Including the 3S type of battery, it weighs 125.4 grams and it weighs 139.2 grams, including the 4S battery. In terms of flight time, I got over four minutes and I think that this is a pretty good result. And if you're just going to cruise around and not push the throttle, I can estimate that you can get close to six minutes. Just like the previous version, you can get this quadcopter either with or without a radio receiver. I've got the Crossfire version and you can see that I mounted the antennas on the back using this double-sided tape. And the combination of this VTX, which has a maximum output power of 200 millivolts and this antenna can get you pretty far. The package of the Beta FPV 85 XHD is very minimalistic and inside you can only find the quadcopter, a Beta FPV service card and a Cadix OSD control board. So I recommend to get extra propellers. I'm not sure if you're going to find this custom blue Evan Rush 2 propellers, but you can just get the clear ones. You should note that by default, the aspect ratio of the Cadex Total V2 is set to 16 by nine. So if you're using a four by three FMB goggles, I recommend to change it to four by three using the provided OSD controller. So all you have to do is to remove the canopy and then you can open up the menu by pressing the center button head over to TV ratio, change it to 4x3, and I also recommend under video to turn on the auto recording, so the camera is going to start recording as soon as you're going to plug the battery, and in order to stop the recording procedure, all you have to do is just to unplug it, and the video is going to be automatically saved to the microSD card. Now, by the way, recently I reviewed the Beta FPV Beta 75 XHD, which is a very nice CineWoop, it's very similar to the Beta 85 XHD, except of course it has a smaller wheelbase. It's using 40 mm props and 1103-8000 kV motors, which can handle up to 3S type batteries. And I can tell you that in my opinion, if you're debating which version to get, I recommend to go with the bigger version because you're gonna have more fun when you're gonna fly it outdoors. And you can always fly it using a 2S type of battery if you want to fly it indoors, for example, and you don't want it to get too fast. And I think that if you have enough experience, you'll be able to fly indoors, even using a 3S type of battery. So now after this introduction, the next thing I'm going to do is to show the flight footage using 3S and 4S type of batteries. And overall, I can tell you that as I mentioned before, the quadcopter performed very well and I really enjoyed flying it. The only complaint that I have is that just like the previous version, it's impossible to adjust the camera angle and I think that when using a 4S lap battery, this angle is too low and it could really use some tilt. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. Thank you.